Hello, Matt from Moving Audio and Pool. Now, what we're going to do today is have a look at the Riga range of loudspeakers. This is the RS range of loudspeakers, and we're going to be looking at the first three in the range. So, RS1, the stand mounter, RS3, and RS5, the two uh, floor standers. So, starting with the RS1, differences over the R series, which uh, they supersede, mainly in the tweeter. All three of the cabinets have the ZRR tweeter, and this is a big improvement over the uh, predecessor much cleaner response, much more detail, far less overhang, so it's a very, very precise sounding tweeter. Base unit, of course, carries over from before, and this is Riga's own base mid unit, made in-house to their own specifications. RS1 stand mounter, rear ported, but it can go close to the wall because the sound that it uh, gives is very, very tight, quite dry. It's a very, very honest speaker, and the higher quality of electronics you use, the more sound it will give you. Very good little speaker that one. And then onto the, these uh, floor standards, and this is the RS3, and as you can see, same drive view configuration on the front, front porting this time, so although the cabinet being larger will allow greater base extension, again these will go close to a wall because the port is at the front. Interesting though, although this is actually a two-way speaker, it does have a third drive unit on the side, and this is a base unit. The cabinets are handed, so <clears throat> what you can do is have the base units either firing out against the side walls or turn them round and they can fire in towards each other. There's no right or wrong about which one is better. What you have to do is try it in your listening room, see which sounds best in your listening room. So that's a little bit of tweaking you can do for yourself when you get them home. What's very clever about that drive unit? No crossover. And that's why I say it's a two-way speaker. So although the frequencies are divided up between the bass and mid unit and the tweeter, there is no crossover dividing the base to the base unit. The coil is deliberately high capacitance and that means we can get away without using a crossover because it will not produce any base or any frequencies above 200 cycles. So it is a natural base unit. They carry this recipe over into the uh, largest one we've got here today which is the RS5. Same base mid, same tweeter, ported on the front but a deeper and larger cabinet. Again, on the side, a base unit. Remember they are handed. So you can use them firing inboard or outboard, something you've got to experiment with yourself. But a much bigger drive unit. And this speaker will of course produce further bass extension over the smaller brother and uh, give you a very, very, very solid sound indeed. Finishes, well we've got gloss black or matte black or the cherry, which you see here. All of the speakers are finished here in England to a very, very high standard indeed. And really what they've done is taken a, a very simple concept a little bit of attention to detail, very clever use of uh, drive unit technology to give you an exceptionally musical and enjoyable range of speakers. Now if you'd like further information, do have a look on our website which is www.movement-audio.co.uk or you can phone us direct 01202 730 865. Thanks a lot.